Yo, what's up, boys and girls? It's uh, it's Thursday. It's Try Hard Thursday, but it's not any Try Hard Thursday. It's Thanksgiving Thursday. Now, if you don't live in the U.S., obviously you don't care about Thanksgiving because you had yours at a different time, or you just don't straight up have one, which is fine. But every year I make this Thanksgiving Try Hard Thursday video because... I know that there's a lot of people that won't be able to make it to their family this year. You know, they're not able to do the travel because of some reason or even people in the military who are just overseas that, uh, that they, they watch my videos and they want to, you know, feel family, feel like family. And I always make these videos for, for people like that because, um, Everyone deserves to be with their family on Thanksgiving. So if, if you celebrate it, <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I always love making these videos for all those people that won't be able to be with their family this year. So yeah, this, this video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more like me just randomly talking about things that I've been doing or, you know, life and stories rather than. Oh my god, the most try-hard games you've ever seen in your entire life. They might still be, but I'm not going to be zoned in to, th to think about them. So, like, if they're super try-hard, I can almost promise you that I'm not thinking about the game. That's just how, <laughs> that's just how it works today. Um, I might need some Dayquil. My nose be running. <clears throat> but yeah, so... I don't know. Where, where do I start? Where do I start? Hmm. What's the story? Oh my gosh. I'll tell you about my Thanksgiving first. So at my wedding, the, yeah, this is a long story. At my wedding, my family, everybody in my family, my mom, my grandmother, my sister, my brother, my dad, everyone was in the room while you know we were waiting for um the night to go over and me to get married and we were just talking about everything really and uh <clears throat> the topic of tug of war came up <laughs> and <clears throat> what's interesting is i i don't think anyone's played tug of war since you know they're probably like middle school days maybe even elementary um, because I don't know about y'all, but I never played tug of war when I was in high school, you know, <laughs> and the topic of tug of war came up and then the topic evolved into which one of the family members do you think would win tug of war? Like who's the strongest, who's the strongest tug of war gamer? And obviously my dad said, well, it's him, right? Because he's, he's dad. And to be fair, he is incredibly strong. <laughs> um, but, but, and this is why, this is why I think I would beat him. He's got, he's got two bad knees. Like he's got each, I, I think he's got two knee replacements and he wants two more. I, well, once you have a knee replacement, apparently you have to like redo it every 10 years because, you know, it grinds down or whatever. I don't know. But um, he's got bad knees. So I was like, okay, you got some bad knees, bro. There's no way you're planting those those legs and out pulling me when you have no knees. Like, it's just not going to happen. So, uh, so naturally, naturally, he denied. And then we went through an entire tournament, uh, like just talking about it that, that wedding night. You know, matchups and everything. And most of the family thinks that I would win because I am very strong and I have knees. So, you know, it adds up if you think about it. Um, <clears throat> my sister does go to the gym. She is very, very strong as well. And um, she thinks she would win. So we have me, my sister, and my dad all think we can win. So what did my dad do? Well, a week ago... He bought a tug of war rope, and now we're gonna play. Now we're gonna do a one-on-one -on -one tug of war contest during Thanksgiving. 
I'm a little nervous about it. Not because I think I'm going to lose, but because I don't want my dad to hurt himself. Because my dad, my dad pushes his limit. You know, like, not necessarily in a bad way. It's, it's actually good that, you know, he pushes himself so hard most of the time. But, um, he thinks... He thinks he's a spry young man, I think. And he's not. There's been there's been a few occasions. And by a few, I mean probably like five. Where we were like playing something in the backyard. And and it, he hurt himself because he stepped in like um one of the times it wasn't really his fault. There was a little hole in the backyard. And he stepped in the hole and he twisted his ankle really bad. But a couple times it was his fault, you know? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There's a few times it was actually his fault. So I'm worried about my dad hurting himself, trying to exert too much force while he plays tug of war and then maybe hurts his knee or something. I don't know. Um, And then my sister, I think between me and my sister, which will be the finals, I imagine. I think between me and my sister, I will win. But she is very strong. And I'm not going to take anything away from her because, you know, she's worked really hard on her strength and it's it shows. Um, but I don't know. At the end of the day, I think I would rather die than lose this tug of war tournament. Like, I'm not going to. I am not going to lose. There's nothing that you can tell me that will make me even consider losing this tournament. I will I will not give up. No matter what. <laughs> and it's kind of it's kind of like that in uh in everything I do. I mean, I, I'm a very competitive person, so even like even on a chessboard, if you have like 18 queens for like I don't even know how you'd have 18. But if you have 18 queens, and I have my king. I'm gonna run around and, and try to try to stalemate. I'm not giving up. Uh uh, no shot. I'm just extremely competitive where I want the win and no matter what I do, like everything I do. And it is bad sometimes, I'll admit, you know, because if me and Shiv try to play a game together, oh god forbid. God forbid. <laughs> she always gets mad at me because I'm good at a lot of stuff apparently. And I never go easy on people. I always say you have to earn your win. And it it makes her so mad. And I get it. Because if if the roles were reversed, I would be I would be pissed all the time. So it doesn't make sense. She's cooking right now. So I don't know if she can hear me. Can you hear me? Yeah, she can't hear me. But yeah, so there's, you know, there's some things there. And I think, I think that competitiveness is going to translate into my tug of war competition. And I'm going to plant my feet like I have a, a ton of concrete under them. Not like a ton, but like 2,000 pounds. Like a metric unit, a ton. Like T-O-N-N-E. Yeah. Um, And I don't know. I'll get back to you tomorrow on if I won or lost. If I lost, honestly, unsubscribe to the channel. There's no point anymore. If I lost the Tug of War channel, I'm clearly, one, not, not lifting heavy enough, which is surprising because I lift pretty heavy. And two, uh, my my knees gave out and I'm in the hospital. Those are the only two options. <laughs> I honestly... I honestly... Well, I don't know. I was going to say I'd prefer the latter where, like, my knees gave out because at least that means that I'm still strong enough. But I don't really want double knee replacement when I'm 27. Sounds not great. <clears throat> Anyways, that whole conversation happened literally the night before my wedding at, like, I'm not even kidding, at, like, 1 a.m. Like... <laughs> That's what, so actually it was my wedding day. Technically it was my wedding day. That happened on my wedding day with my family. Um, 
What else do I talk about? I do want to talk. Oh, I'm crippled. I do want to talk more about my wedding day. However, I already did talk a lot about my wedding. You rooted me, you hooligan. I did already talk a lot about my wedding day um, for channel members. And I don't want to like... I don't want to tell that story online very much because it's, you know, it's my wedding. It's personal. And if you're a channel member, then you can see it. But, um, if not, you know, it's okay. Dude, I love that RuneScape level up sound. What are you doing? You're just, you're just sitting here auto attacking me. What are you going to do with that though? I guess he is going like hella anti-heal. He's going pestilence into toxic blade. Or you have like literally no mana at all. Like literally no mana. Uh, I do have healing, so I might be able to kill you here. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why he did that. I have no clue why he did that. He just kind of tanked through everything when he didn't have to. Hmm. Alright, let's just go to Vine. But yeah, anyways. And then, um... I went to my family's house, maybe. Well, I went to it last weekend. But I also went to it, I think, a couple days before last weekend. Like, the Thursday or Wednesday before last weekend. And, um... <clears throat> we were just chilling there. Watching Elf and talking about things. For Thanksgiving. And we have a lot of, uh, like, life... You know, the life-sized outdoor type games, like life-size connect four and chess and jenga and stuff like that we bought a bunch of those we even bought cornhole i know it's such a white person thing to do is buy cornhole but we bought cornhole for it there's a lot of games that go down in thanksgiving it's not like like a normal thanksgiving is like oh man how are you I haven't seen you in forever wow family ha ah, this is awesome our thanksgiving is like i'm gonna beat you into the fucking dirt in one of these games like <laughs> I don't care which game it is, but I will I will be the champion of that game. Champion of, of Life Size Connect 4? Sure. Sure. I don't care. As long as I'm champion of something. That's basically how our how our Thanksgiving is. But before the games, you know, everyone is everyone's there. You know, I got aunts, uncles, grandparents. They all show up and hang out. Which is awesome. But I think it's I think it's important, like I I am married now, so, you know, people always ask about starting a family, but I think it's important as a family to keep things like really fun. Cause I think the older you get, the more, the more stressed everybody is, right? Everyone's, you know, worried about how much money they're making and their bills and, um, you know, their love lives or their quotas, you know, all these things. Everyone's always worried about so much as an adult. And I think it's important that a family keeps things young. They keep things fun, young, entertaining, and however that looks like for your family, right? But I do think it's important because people are too damn stressed all the time now. I want to alt, but I don't want you to dash away from me. What if I just keep bonking you? Oh, wow. I actually was not expecting that to kill him. I have a hair like from my head touching my nose and I can't tell where, dude. 
<clears throat> yeah, I think it's important to keep things fun because I'm so busy. I think it's my mustache. I think it's my mustache hair going up my nose. Dude, how much anti-healing are you going to get? You have 120% anti-heal? I'm just going to buy more lifesteal then. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy more lifesteal. Prove to me that your anti heal is that good. Prove it. You dashed away. Well, I pretty got pretty much got my Thanksgiving covered, I think. There's gonna be there's always so much food, man. My um my uncle loves to cook. My aunt loves to cook. My uh wife loves to cook. <laughs> um there's going to be so much food. We have like, um, I don't know. This isn't really going to make sense unless you know what it is. But there's a thing that Shiv makes that's called Mac Pie. But it's a little bit different than like a normal macaroni pie. It's like a West Indian one. They have spices in it. They got some carrots in it. And they got like 18 different cheese types in it. It's really, really, really good. And I love it when she makes it. She doesn't make it very often because it's like extremely bad for you, but it's Thanksgiving, so fuck it. But she's making um, one for the family and then one specifically for my brother <laughs> because my brother loves it so much. Um, so she's making one only for him and then one for the rest of the family. And then she's also making this mashed potatoes that she makes so good. I know it, it doesn't sound, it sounds like it's mashed potatoes, right? Cause I call them mashed potatoes, but it's, um, <clears throat> she puts like little mozzarella balls, not, not like breaded or anything, just like balls of cheese in there. And then when she stirs up the, the mashed potatoes, that shit is creamy. That shit's so like cheesy and creamy and good. Cheesy, creamy, beautiful cover girl. <laughs> That was stupid. That's, that was a that was a that was a stupid thing to say, but it made me laugh. So who cares? I don't know. I like videos like this a lot more. Why I can just like just spew bullshit, <laughs> like <laughs> I just talk about random stuff rather than like, man, these are the nuances of duel that I'm doing that that. A lot of you guys aren't seeing, so I'm going to explain it to you, you know? I like switching things up. Wow, that altered a lot of damage to you, kind gentleman. Mm, am I to die right here? Perhaps, surely, I am. All right. Big fear, big detonate, big auto attack, big kill. Double defense. <clears throat> oh my god. I was 4k gold ahead of him. What in the heck is going on here? I don't know. Well, game one is basically just my Thanksgiving story. So I'll see you guys in uh, in game number two. And we'll see what happens. Yo, what's up, boys? Game number two. And uh, if I'm honest, dude, I don't really know what to talk about. Hey, babe, you want to tell a story? I don't know any story. No, not right now. Okay. Oh, yeah, you are. You are cooking for Thanksgiving. That's true. They shouldn't really pull you away from that. I suppose this guy's name is dual brain rot. <laughs> Honestly, you play too much dual. Your brain does rot. But I will say, as the most experienced dueler, my brain is 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 pretty chilling, actually. Well, to be fair, when I, I like I I don't play duel very much anymore. I I hold the uh, the title of most experienced dueler basically just off residuals, <laughs> just because I just because I played it so much before, um, but. I my my brain was completely rot 
before I met Shiv. That's actually on God on God. Like I was not a human being before I met Shiv. I was I was some sort of like just crazy demon. I woke up and streamed and did nothing else with my entire life. That's it. Which is, you know, it's okay in the sense where like if you don't have anyone and you're just trying to like career base yourself, but that's not what I was doing. I wanted people and I still and I just didn't get them because or or I did get them and then I pushed them away because streaming so much. It's true. No, I was I, I, <clears throat> I know you guys don't like when I I put myself down in any way. But one, you have to get over it because like I said in the first game, I'm the type of person that I am so hard on myself, right? But but the reason I'm so hard on myself is because I feel like if I'm not hard on myself, then I am I'm never going to do anything good in life, you know? Like I need to I need to be hard on myself to push myself to actually accomplish it. Um which is why when Shiv, you know, came into my life and I changed a bit, it was so good because rather than closing everything off, I actually opened up to things and like, it really did change my life, man. Honestly, I'm not just saying that, like, you know, I married her and whatever, but <clears throat> I, I think as a person shiv challenged my ideals and thoughts and made me realize wait a second i'm being kind of a dumbass here aren't i you know why are you so tanky i guess he does have a finished item and i don't gotta kick me bro not try to kick me though oh, I'm dead oh really close dude come on oh he used his one because his one gives HP 5 now no Ooh, no <laughs> it was so close damn it dude all right you're back and I'm back and I got a whole ass transcendence to build and a soul eater to start building. Nice. Yeah, I don't really know what other stories to tell, honestly. The only like the only life changing moments I have. I guess I don't have to talk about life changing moments. I went to um Cirque du Soleil. Oh ouch. Cirque du Soleil. I don't know how to say it. But I went there and um, I don't know if you guys have ever been, but that show is like absolutely amazing. It is. Huh? Oh, she's probably talking to Appa. Um, that show is amazing, man. Like they do things that you really don't even think are possible until you see them and you're like, oh, wait a second. Humans can do that? <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't know about that. <laughs> and, um,. I went there once with Shiv, and then we bought tickets again to the same show for uh, her parents, because her parents have never seen it. <laughs> yeah, it's so good, man. And if you guys don't uh, don't have one near you, then, well, one, I would recommend traveling, taking like a weekend trip somewhere to go see one, because they're amazing. And uh, if you're not going to do that, that's fine. But if you do have one near you, then I would definitely recommend going and seeing it. There's a show out called uh, Cabinet of Curiosity, which is the one we saw. Oh my gosh. Why are you so mad? I just wanted my blue buff, man. Relax. Oh, man caught me but uh we saw this the the show called i've seen three of them now but the one we saw recently was called cabinet of curiosities and it was so good 
It was well. I want to talk about it, but I don't know because I don't want. I don't want to spoil it. If you guys are like, oh, Sam's recommending Cabinet of Curiosity, Cirque du Soleil. Let me see where those shows are. If you do that and then I spoil it, then you're gonna be upset. So I don't want to spoil it, but I really want to talk about it. I don't want to spoil it. I'm not gonna. Spoil it. Dom, you bought Dom, bro. That is not it. I guarantee Dom is not it. Hmm. Not my solider yet. Ow. You jump in? Why would you jump in? You are one of the ballsiest people I've met. Not necessarily a bad thing, but in this scenario, not great. <clears throat> I do want to talk about it. I don't know. Just know, just know, I've seen the show twice and I loved it both times. And also something that's interesting that I didn't know that, that, that they did was they have people from like the same, you know, circus, I guess it is a circus, right? They have people from the same circus that don't actually do every show. Like I said, we saw... I saw it the first time and the routine was there was two <clears throat> two acts that were different the first time from the second time and they were different people too all over the show so I didn't know like I didn't know that was something they did but it is cool and it does make sense you know they're doing like three shows on Saturday three shows on Sunday and then one show every day of the week and they're doing that for like months right <clears throat> it makes sense that the crazy shit they do would be exhausting and they might need like like doubles or maybe not even doubles but just like multiple acts to fill the time slots for people when they're exhausted because you know the shit they do is not it's not like you can do it half-assed you either you have to be fully in it to even think about doing that stuff you know and if they're like, dude, you know, I pulled my bicep climbing a rope or something, then, you know, they're obviously not going to put that guy in the show. And it's, it's smart. And I, I feel stupid for not thinking about it before, but you know, I, I, uh, I dropped out of college anyway. So it's not like I'm the smartest, smartest, uh, number on the cake during a happy birthday you know like i'm just i'm there sure not the smartest although i will say in terms of like <clears throat> street versus book smart i am a lot more street smart than i am book smart probably because of the situations i put myself in when i was younger but either way I do think I'm like, oh, okay, ouch. I do think I'm like pretty stupid when it comes to like bookmarks. And I'm not saying that like ironically or something. I mean it. I'm not intelligent when it comes to bookmarks at all. Oh, you die here. Oh, okay. Come to me. Oh, I tried to blink, but it didn't go off. So, you guys know how there was no videos yesterday? There's no videos and there was no stream and there was no... This is the best use of our gold. Reasoning. <laughs> I'm going to give you a reason. It's because I woke up and Shiv was sick. I woke up, Shiv was sick. So, I ran to the store. I got her some stuff. And, um, then I realized, wait a second, if she's sick, then she's not going to get on me about not working. <laughs> so I sat on the couch, literally like, I, I want to say for like 15 hours, I sat on the couch and I played Pokemon Scarlet. 
That's all I did yesterday. Literally nothing else. I played Pokemon. And occasionally I got up to do something for Shiv. But that's it. And and I do mean only occasionally. She doesn't complain much when she's sick. So like... Yeah. It's pretty easy for me. <laughs> but I decided, yeah. I decided I was taking the day off. And it was, it's funny because Shiv was like, are you using my sick day to take a day off? And I looked at her. I didn't even look at her. I gave her like a side eye. Like... Like, she's sitting over here. She's sitting over here. I'm playing Pokemon on my Switch. She's like, you using my sick day for your sick day? And I just go... I don't, don't say a single... Don't say a single thing. <laughs> but yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. It was. And to be honest, I was... Like, mentally, I was fine. I could have worked. I could have. But also, I like Pokemon. I like, what do you want from me? <laughs> you know what's crazy about Pokemon Scarlet? I know so much about this game right now because I have been looking up absolutely everything there is to know about it. Like, like I've been doing the most when it comes down to Pokemon Scarlet. I know where Pokemon spawns are. I know what are the best terror raid battles. I've been trying to memorize typing, but... It, for some reason, I can't do it. Um, I know where you can get almost any item in the game. I know where to get the TMs now. Like, I'm... Dude. I'm a knowledgeable... I'm a knowledgeable Scarlet boy. Slash Violet. These are the same game, really. But I am. And yesterday, my day off was just me playing Pokemon all day. I don't, know. I don't know what to tell you. It's 10.45. My parents want me over at their house by 12, but that's definitely not going to happen because I still have another hour of recording I have to do, which will put us at 11.45, and they live an hour away, and I need to make my thumbnail and set this to upload and set it to scheduling. So maybe I can be there by 1. If I'm quick. If I'm quick with the thumbnail and quick with the the upload and everything. Oh, no. I have to render it, too. Hmm, I might be a little later than I thought I was. Is rendering this... Rendering my, my Try Hard Thursdays takes about an hour. It takes about... 75% of the length of the video. That's how long it takes to render the video in 1080p 60 fps so when i render it and i gotta upload it uploading is fine because i can like set it to upload set it to schedule put the thumbnail in put the tags in i can do all that in like five minutes but the rendering is going to take a long time actually and actually making the thumbnail takes some time too so i don't know maybe we'll get there at like two instead Perfect. I pushed him out, got my minions in, so now I'm doing some solid Phoenix damage. Hello, Bozo. Ow, I missed. Um, am I scared of you, at, like, at all? I, I think you genuinely do not scare me at all. He doesn't have too much damage. Like, the problem with going Dom is it's like good pen and it's good damage too, but you have Golden Blade and Toxic Blade, so you're getting your attacks. Excuse me. You're getting your attack speed in, but you're not getting any actual damage in with those items. All of your damage is coming from strictly a Dom. And if you're going strictly Dom for damage, a Transcendence would have been better or even a... a a devil gloves or even like i don't know even a hydras would have been better because i'm not tanky i just heal a lot you know i don't know i don't know 
I think his build is probably not the greatest, but it is fine. It is fine. It is fine. All right. I'll see you guys in game number three. Yo, what up, boys? Welcome to game number three. This guy actually has higher MMR than me, so I mean, I am going to slam the Kronos. It is, you know, it's Friday Thursday after all. I'm going to see if I can maybe catch the dub. Um, I don't know who this person is. I don't know who's queuing right now. I say that like like normally I do know who's queuing. I have no idea who's queuing ever. Like <laughs> I look to see if there's like two people queuing. Just because they're also content creators and I don't want to run into them. Because if if one con okay, let me put it this way. If content creators ran into each other, it's always a fight not between the creators the creators normal like most of the time creators actually really like each other but like let's say me and rexy ran into each other right now our fan bases for for whatever reason even though me and rexy are, are friends for whatever reason our fan bases don't like each other so it's super weird But I have to look out to, to see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything is a matter of perception. Even time will bend when seen from a new angle. <clears throat> That's awkward. I, hmm. I'm going to call him. We'll see if he answers. Oh, you called me. Dude, I had like this entire idea for nu like a nuclear app wash. I'm like, okay, I see Sam's online. I'll make sure I don't queue into him. He's not queuing. And you know what? I you diamond fucking Kronos. You know what's so funny too? I was just saying, I don't know who this is because I avoid queuing into a couple people like Rexy because our fan bases, for whatever reason, don't like each other, even though we're friends. Yeah, and uh, and, and, then I'm and trying to do some fucking mean things. I god damn it every time. Oh, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'll just play up wash. Sorry, like, uh, fine. are you doing is it Thursday? It is, it is Thursday. Thursday, it's also Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, there you go. for us. Yeah, it doesn't matter for you. Okay, yeah, just clear my whole wave. It's not like, it's not like <laughs> wow, I cared. Um. Yeah, yeah, you guys had your Thanksgiving a long time ago, right? Uh, we had it a month ago, yeah. We have it in October. Ow. Mmm, oh. that DPS. Did 120 damage, dude. You're cracked. <laughs> you do auto for just as much as me, though. And you clear better. Your early game is better than mine. <laughs> I don't know how, but it's actually working. Ow. My oh. I'm doing a double stack and build or something. I, oh, I wasn't gonna, but I will now. Did you save oh. me? Oh, shit. That's not a bit. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> You're crazy. What the fuck? I can't believe I can get you. Hiya. Ow. Oh, oh. Can't buy it. Oh. <laughs> if I couldn't do that. <laughs> he's, a, he's smart. I wouldn't have been smart enough to do that. I never played against football. Uh, uh, come on. There we go. No, 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 no. Wait. Damn you, Vanna! Fuck! <laughs> oh, this is MP5. If only there were starter items. <sighs> Shut up. Don't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't you miss Boombas and Mannequins? I don't God, know. I wish I, I wish they I were back be okay so bad. I think Guardians. Like, like it, like a like. Actually, I don't know. Kuzumbo and Plumbus or something. I do think, and I know that I was the one who made the decision to remove starters, but I do think that the starters that aren't jungle starters should be in duel. Like the conduit gems, it. and you know the fucking vamp shrouds i don't mind those ones it was really just the the jungle starters that were way too strong yeah like mannequins, all of them just weren't meant for duel 
They're just too good, man. Too good. Mm. Mannequins, especially. Yeah, the only thing that makes me miss mannequins is when I queue into a fucking Hades that builds quadruple life steal, and I can't do anything all game. Oh, you mean oh. you mean me? <laughs> you mean what I do? <laughs> you fucking started. I swear to God, you started that fucking life steal meta. Dude. I did. I did, and yeah, you know and what? It sucks. I. God I, damn it! Why would you tell them? God. Okay, here's here's the options, Rexy. I tell them and they do it, or I don't tell them and they do it anyways. So I might as well tell them. Now maybe, but maybe they wouldn't, you know, figure it out if you, say, if you don't say anything. I don't know. They would probably end up doing it anyway. You're right. Hey, can you? Hey, yeah. Don't mind me. Stop it. Bad oh. Kronos. That did actually a lot of damage. Did 481? What the fuck? I don't know how you have a diamond border on Suki. Or you're, you're so high up with Sukiyomi. Dude, I swear I get the unluckiest matchups. Like, I always think he's so good, and he is. But then, like, for example, that Hades I was talking about. I actually like, like I the Hades matchup. Really? With, Suki. with Sukiyomi? Yeah. Have you played it since the removal of starters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, the, really? the thing is, I used to go, um, I used to go Bluestone into Runeforge. That was my start every game back when starters were in the game. Oh. But with starters removed, I just built him straight up transcendent soul leader every game. Now. And then you it give up the early, back. yeah, you give up the early game to the Hades. But late game, when you alt him, he just cannot do anything. Obviously, you uh, need bees. I just couldn't because... get late game because he was just pressure my Titan. I think Soul yeah. Leader is smart though. Just deal with the sustain. Yeah, if you if you get Soul Leader, then you can pretty much. First off, those jukes were just demonic. <laughs> um, but if you get Soul Leader, you can stand in your wave while he's like detonating it, and fight him afterwards. And he just can't really do anything. Because if he dashes away, your three is long enough range to slow, and so is your one. And then you just stun him and beat him up. Uh, getting fear during that too is so frustrating. Yeah, if, like I think if you get late game, just the poke with Hydras and just transcendence yeah. in general. Hydras, like, Heartseeker, yeah. Heat Stick. You really just do too just much damage. Just need to get late. I just hate the pressure early game. Oh my god. But thank God people kind of stopped playing them. But don't do it from this video. I swear to God. What Hades? One of you. Yeah, no, not you. But yeah, I'm talking to the viewers. I played Hades two games ago. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Fuck, maybe I want to double stack. The You're double the... stacking, but it's actually pretty smart. It's really good. Uh, but yeah, I saw like everyone using it during my tournament thing. I think uh Yeah, how'd that go by the way? Good. But I think um double stacking is too good. Like if you can actually hold your own early game, then sacrifice whatever late game or mid game you need. Because it's just good to the double. And I'm off. To the three. Take it back now, yo. Damn it, dude. Words. <laughs> How, I did that as a joke and it You did that as a joke and it actually dude. beat me. I think we're ever gonna get those uh, creator cup cards. The titles? No shot. No way. Snack. Did you get the, uh... Well, actually, I'm not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should be careful about what we talk about. <laughs> <clears throat> but I do want to ask you about that after the game. Yeah, I'm dumb. The cosmos beckons. Hey, Ragnarok, yep. I'm not, no. But I do have the... I have this... This fan started a... Like a sunglasses company and he sent me them and they were dope and then he sponsored me afterwards during my 24-hour stream and then a couple days ago he messaged me and he was like hey man so i do this thing on the side where you know i resell games or whatever and he had this like god of war ragnarok collection thing it had like yeah it had like mjolnir and everything like that and he's sending it to me that's fucking sick. I also got the collector's edition. I so, have the Mjolnir. It's sick. Dude. Is it sick? It's sick. It's like properly weighted and everything. It's really genuine. I'm gonna hang it up on my wall. That's dope. But yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I'm waiting to awesome. get that That's to awesome. play it. 
That's fucking sick. Damn, that man's giving you everything. He's like, I know, he's glasses, the best. Glasses, the sponsorship, the game. He's dope. That's sick. <laughs> oh, if I, like, started building up a bunch of my little creepies or whatever they're called. I saw you snap. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you beacon. If I built up a ton of them at Bold, even would you pretend like you're not there? Yeah, oh. sure. Your detonate did no damage because I broke one and you picked up the other. <laughs> I was trying to survive. I'm bottling them. Okay, sorry, Jesus. I missed! Oh, <laughs> that actually caught me off guard. I was so ready for it, but like not at the same time. Oh, you know what's you know what's interesting actually about the Chronos buff? You uh, oh, you buff? Yeah, oh, you... penance buff or the god? No, the god. Oh no, there was a buff. Wait yeah, a so you know how his third segment did twenty five percent of his like it increased his magical power by twenty five percent. Yeah. It now increases his magical power by 35%, which is, in case you didn't know, the same as his fourth quadrant, which is the auto attack enhancer. So now there's no That's point the to enhance your auto attack. What? Now you just really? enhance everything all the same. Okay, you don't need to show me. I believe you. I'm showing you. I'm showing you. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> oh, fuck. Look, I used the third quadrant here. <laughs> See this? See this? <laughs> God damn it. Kronos and Kronos? Fuck. Bro, get off my buffs. No, sir. no, 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 no. I, no, I'm not doing them, I swear. I see that staff around the corner again. <laughs> I like this skin because the staff looks more like an axe than a staff. That is a cool skin. What should my next item be? I don't know. That's Any a... item. Just tell me an item. No. Tell me an item. I don't want you to accidentally fucking throw any item. That's your border. No, I'm not. Tell I'm not saying an item. I'm gonna build breastplate build then. What? Okay, build fucking telkines. Finish telkines or something. Okay, I bought Hecate. Okay. I was already out of base because <laughs> you were giving me yes. too much sass. That was over last night. He played Mario Kart. Mario Kart is sick. You know what? You know what we're gonna do at uh, my Thanksgiving dinner today? Does that make fun of my ketchup thing? N no. Uh, <laughs> although that might happen. But um, we're gonna play tug of war. <laughs> we're gonna do. We're gonna what? do one on one tug of war because my dad thinks that he's stronger than everyone else in the family. <laughs> and I think I'm the strongest one in the family. One on one tug of war, Jesus. Yeah, but it's the whole family. Like, there, it's it's, it's going to be a whole ass tournament, man. Uh, and you know what's you know what's play. funny? You know when we had this conversation about it? Literally, my wedding day. <laughs> that is interesting. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to bother. You go ahead. Oh, yours. thanks, man. Thanks. You won. You win this tug of war. Yeah, we bought a bunch of like life-size shit to play. Like, we got life-size chess and life-size uh, connect four and Jenga and oh a tug God, of war really rope. Ham on Thanksgiving. It's just like a, it's like a fun day, you know. It's true. I used to go to like this huge family event, but our family's kind of like split apart a bit. Yeah. So now I just kind of chill. That happens. The older people get, the more separated they get most of the time. True. And... <laughs> Didn't work. At least they can't do bull demon. Holy shit, you're level 18. What the hell happened? Oh yeah, my boss. You actually fucking built breastplate. Are you shitting me? 
I didn't even notice. Oh my god, Sam. For fuck's sakes. I'm I so still kick my ass. I'm sorry. Fuck? I'm sorry. Oh I thought goodness. it'd be funny. It is funny, but you know what? I don't feel as bad because the three levels down, but still. Let's add a bit of color. <laughs> All right. Next item, Emperor's Armor. And your Phoenix is going peace. Bozo. Odd wires here. What were you doing? I was looking at you because I was interested on what you were doing, and then. Oh, you blocked my autos with that? Ugh. Where'd you go? Oh, God. Thank God it's two's up. Ah! Please, just do it. <laughs> just fucking do it. Oh, whoa. What the fuck? I thought you were <laughs> I'm just running away from demons. <laughs> you can't just walk away after that. <laughs> oh. No. Okay. Oh, man. Jesus. The cat and mouse. I'm having a lot of fun this game, man. Yeah, you and your breastplate. Don't talk about my breast Curry. like that. <laughs> Speaking of breasts, the world is in less than two weeks. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know. Oh man. I think it, two weeks. You months. might. Oops. You might be the only person on the planet that thinks of worlds and breasts at the same time. <laughs> A dash of color yeah, I don't know. Don't do Boldyman, though. Not all of us are as hot as you, okay? What does that have to do with the breasts? What? Women breasts. Wait. Oh. Look, I... I oh. Oh, hey, all right, be honest. How often do you get laid at Worlds? Is it every world? What the fuck, Sam? This is not a subject that we're talking about in the middle of a video. What the fuck? Chat, that means yes. That does mean yes. I, Just so no. we're clear. It means yes. <laughs> I don't know. I am double physical defense, so maybe not. What the? I'm gonna go get your Phoenix now. I VXE'd where I was. I was hiding in my red buff. Oh my god, you did it. <laughs> I have hope for a sliver of a second. Ooh. You can't turn the corner like that. Nice. <laughs> I love when I when I break the the corpse and then it just your two just fizzles I love that out. You have one attack speed item and I can't do anything. Well, to be fair, I am double stacked still. That's, yeah, it's true. I don't really it's need so more than three true. items this game. Oh my god! Use the three. The blue ball is. <laughs> Ow! What the hell, dude? Uh, yeah, woof, winning. Let's go. Don't make me buy another item. Mm. Don't make me buy more physical defense. Maybe mystical mail will work. Dude, stop. Like, what if you accidentally... No. What if I lose? What, like, I'm, what fi I'm I fine with losing. Burst thing? I'm fine I'm with losing. That's the problem. The problem is... Holding L's... First off, you winning is outposh is just impressive nonetheless. Secondly, me holding an L doesn't matter because the season's almost over anyway. Fair. Uh, dude, I was literally, I was one, I had three or 20, uh, whatever MMR points, whatever you need for the purple border. I was 25 points up with Uller for like six games. I couldn't get the points and I finally lost. And I never got my purple border. I'm so sad. 
Damn. I should have gotten it like five times. I'm like a hundred points off with Kronos, but I just don't care enough. Ow. You will never reach the I suppose, yeah, it's gonna be you don't really I wish there was rewards because we'll just abuse that and cheat. Hey, Polly now. You like my Polly? Not really. Why not? It hurts. I'm gonna have Gem though. Oh god. Oh, the cringe of upwash. Thank god he sucks in duel. Gem of ice so upwash open. That does sound not super fun to play against, I'll be honest. Oh, sir. Maybe I will sell my physical defense. You should. Ow. So slow. Uh, Why did he even get off short? What the fuck? What? what? <laughs> Is that a blink? All I saw was like a shimmer. Like. <laughs> oh, man. I am going to lose this game. <laughs> Dude, like this burst is too much. You need to get some defense. Oh my god, that minion. It just got possessed. I fucking see you. That staff is huge. I know. We all the time in the universe. A buff. Psych. Boom. Oh. Hey, Jesus, dude. Why are you being mean? I fucking try to survive, <laughs> alright? I just want a buff. Well, if you didn't fucking ult me, I would have given you one. You rat. Oh my god! That is a big jumping animation. Yours? Or yours. Is it? I have one. I don't feel like it's that big. I don't think I got a. Well, the aura that's around it stands out a lot. Wow. Ouch. I know you did this. <laughs> Quick! Oh my god, dude. Vengeance! Let's add a bit of color. How's that blue? It was delicious. I bought items, by the way. Like actual ones. Oh no. Actual real items now. Oh my god. With my third quadrant, my poly hits for 800. Oh, oh god, he's got real items. I was listening, but not like really listening. <laughs> I didn't see the, the, the level of it. <laughs> didn't hit me. What the? I thought you'd blink it. I was wrong. Can you not? Ow. Ow, we you fucking full health? <laughs> oh my god, that Polly. <laughs> Yeah, two polys for 764. Kind of insane. Oh my god. Alright, GG's. Oh man. Thanks for joining me. Totally planned this. Yeah, Ugh. super planned, Anyways. super planned. See you next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Nuclear Appwash against physical defense. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yo, boys, I'm actually not going to be seeing you guys in the next game. I'm actually going to be ending the video here because I'm a bit... I'm a on a bit of a time crunch it is thanksgiving i do have to meet my parents soon so um thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and um i hope that this video was hopefully with you for somebody's thanksgiving dinner and brought some comfort peace